So now I'm going to talk a little bit about other funding, especially for presentations. So what we know about undergraduate research is it's something that you do, but we also encourage you to disseminate those findings. What that means is we want you to present either on campus or off campus. So presentations on campus, we have at least one campus-wide presentation opportunity. It's called Research and Creative Achievement Week, usually late March or early April. Research and Creative Achievement Week is for all students who are doing research projects. And they could be doing group projects that are class projects as long as there's a research component where you're finding new knowledge. So the new knowledge is the key. When I give an IRCA or a UR Mini Award, I expect the students to present at Undergraduate Research Day during RCAW or at another venue. So RCAW, of course, is free. It's on campus. We're not going to charge you to attend. Um, but if you go off campus, usually those presentation venues are going to cost some money. So I have travel awards that will allow the students to go to another place, to a conference, to present their undergraduate research. The travel awards are part of a, um, again, it's an application where you have to put in the request before the travel occurs. You're gonna have to work through the travel system on the campus. So one of the things we request is we're going to ask you where the travel is going to take place, when. We're going to say you need to contact the travel administrator in your department, and our office will transfer the funds to your department to finish that travel. So the travel awards are a way that we can stimulate <coughs> student presentations of their undergraduate research and creative projects. So travel awards to discipline-specific um, conferences. We also have a statewide undergraduate conference, which is called Snickers State of North Carolina Undergraduate Research and Creativity Symposium. Snickers goes around the state every year. It's pretty much always in November every year. There's a very small registration fee that includes breakfast and lunch. It's $35. Again, my office will pay for that registration fee, and we'll be working that out for this fall. We're going to try to do that for all the students together. In fall 2018, that conference will be at North Carolina State University. And it's on November 10th, so you can write that down if that's something you're thinking about. If you're doing research right now, it's a great event to go to. The abstracts will be due in early fall, so you really have to have something already done in the summer. It's very hard for you to start a project and present it at Snickers, but if you've had it to work from before, you can present it at Snickers. So the Snickers conference is a great opportunity if it's your first conference. You may want to present it in the fall and then present that same work in the spring. If you're continuing on the project, maybe you can present it in the fall and then present a different, more, more, more work that you've done on the project in the spring at the Research and Creative Achievement Week. So um, I've talked about um, other presentation opportunities. There's one more piece of information I'd like you to know about, and then we'll open it up for questions. And that is, we have a new program that we've made available through my office, and it's called the Student Opportunity Center. This is a national database of research and internship opportunities that's available for, by subscription to universities. So I've paid a subscription fee for all students at ECU to have a license to use this database. All right? So it's Student Opportunity Center, SOC. The way it works, pretty simple. It recognizes ECU as an email address. If you go to the Student Opportunity Center website, use your ECU email address to log in, you'll have access to all those opportunities. You can set up your own profile for interests, and it will send you opportunities and give you information about how to apply to different internships and research opportunities for the summers. So again, these are outside opportunities. We do try to put the information that's going on at ECU on that SOC site. We can add that. But most of those opportunities are going to be external. And we really want our students 
to do external opportunities when they can. So this is a, something that I've decided to pay for to help our students to um, look for those external opportunities.